Hey everybody, it's Paula here and welcome to today's video. Today's video is another video in the series of do your own research. And the tool I want to share with you today is a tool for on-chain analysis called Glassnotes. Now I'll put a link directly below this video to the website so you can access the website too. Now, on-chain data is very fundamental to a blockchain information like the number of new addresses and the number of active addresses is it's fundamental to the business and to show adoption and how the blockchain is actually growing in usage there's plenty of on-chain data reports but the first report that i'm going to look at is the new proof of reserves report so if we go to dashboards and in dashboards if we select proof of reserve it's going to give us the proof of reserve for the major exchanges now why is this important well we've seen with the recent ftx collapse that exchanges may not be trading in a manner that is favorable to its users and there could be some dodgy things going on and they use leverage and for every one bitcoin you have in your wallet somebody else is probably seeing the exact same bitcoin and this is what's kind of led to the collapse of exchanges in the past. And by having a proof of reserves, anybody can go and check an exchange that has proof of reserves and see what they're actually holding in reserves. Now, proof of reserves is one thing, but it's also important to look at liabilities because if the liabilities are greater than the actual reserves, well, then the company is not exactly solvent. But this report addresses to uh, is here to address the proof of reserves, not the net position. So if we scroll down, we see we first of all, we have Binance and it shows us that a considerable amount of its own tokens are held in its own stable coin, BUSD. After this, we then have some uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, US dollars, and we can see the 24 hour change in all of these. If we want to have a look there, you see the 24 hour change. We can see the same data over here, but in a chart format. So we can see the reserves. If we come over here, we can see all of the reserves that they are holding on Binance. So I'm just gonna go back there and scroll down so now we have bitfinex and we can see that bitfinex is holding mostly bitcoin after this it's holding leo and eth now we can see that the leo holding or the omg holding really jumped here in august um and we can see the current position then if we scroll right down to the end we've got bitmex or BitMEX, and that has is just holding all of Bitcoin. We have Bybit, which is holding a considerable amount of Tether and then Bitcoin. And you can see it again here in these charts. Crypto.com holding more variety of tokens. Uh, Hubu holding a variety. KuCoin holding a variety. OKX holding a variety. So we can see the main exchanges and the proof of reserves that they are holding at the moment. Now, like I said, proof of reserves is only one half of the story. And I'm hoping that we'll soon see also see a proof of liabilities. So we'd be able to see if it, the organization is solvent or not. So the next thing I want to quickly jump onto is core on chain. And core on-chain data, as I mentioned earlier, is the fundamentals of how a blockchain is working. So we see here we have token supply. Now, many of these charts in here are on premium levels, but I'm going to show you another tool as well now in a second. So we've got circulating supply, and we can see the circulating supply here. And we get some uh, text, we get some uh, context of the charts down here in text that you can read about. We can see the percentage of supply in the last year versus a year ago. And again, it gives you 
details, context of what these charts mean. And it's important that you learn the fundamentals of how a blockchain is actually working and how to know whether it's growing or not. Because just because the price of something is going up doesn't mean that the number of users is going up or the number of active wallets is going up. Or in the case of Bitcoin, that the number of holders is holding fast. We've got the number of active addresses over here. So we can see we have the daily number of active addresses happening. And we can see that when there is a run, that there is a spike on the number of daily active uh, addresses. And then this comes down as the price goes down. So it is tied very much into the price. We have other charts then as well in here, and you can go through all of these yourself, but I just wanted to show you where you can find them. So make sure you have a read about them so you understand, and some of them even have video explainers so you can really get to grips with what's going on with on-chain activity. Now, before we finish up, I want to jump over to TradingView. And why TradingView when we're talking about uh, glass nodes and on-chain metrics. Well, TradingView actually has all of these glass node on-chain metrics available for you to use as a chart. So I know we're all familiar with our candlestick charts, but we can also look at on-chain metrics. To do this, if we click here in the tokens and if we put in glass nodes, glass node, and then double dot. Once we put this in, we get all of the information that's available on glass nodes for us to look at in charts. So we can see here, this is the ETH new address chart. And um, we go back in there and we can see there's two ETH new addresses. Now, what do we do have to do, which is quite annoying, is put in glass nodes, double dot each time. But we can see that we can really scroll down through loads and loads of on-chain analysis. And if we just hover over one of these, it gives us a little bit of detail of what this actually means. Now I'm going to scroll back up for a second because I did see the SORP. I thought I seen the SORP. We see that we can see the uh, USD tokens, the total amount of USD tokens ever created. And we can see it in chart format. So there's loads of really interesting on-chain data available for you to look at in TradingView that's coming directly from Glassnodes. What I would suggest is that you start with Glassnodes and that you learn about the different charts and what they all mean. And you could spend a good week trying to absorb and digest this information. Glassnodes also send out a newsletter and they do an update uh, by video as well, which is really, really interesting and definitely worth subscribing to as a free tool for you to be doing your own research with. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, I hope that you'll consider sharing it. Do give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more of my videos.